Hey guys, Barbie here. Tonight is my 28th Facebook Live in a row. And tonight I'm not going to pick a card from my James Von Prog deck. Tonight I'm going to talk about a couple of things that my partner mentioned to me earlier tonight. And it is what I focus on expands or your roots dictate your fruits. I liked both of those um, <clears throat> quotes. I don't know who said them or where they came from. I just know they were relayed to me tonight. And they both touch on some things that I have talked about in other videos that I've made and perhaps other lives I've put up. But the what I focus on expands, that is another play on the uh, law of attraction. Because what you focus on or where your focus goes, that's what grows, you know. Um, the things that you focus on are the things that you're projecting out into the universe. And whatever you project out, that comes back to you. So you could be thinking that you're focusing on, I want, you know, I want money, I need money, I need my bank account full, um, I would like a raise. You, you could think that you're focusing on that, but what you may really be focusing on is, wow, I don't have enough money to pay my rent this month. I don't have enough money in my bank account to take care of all these bills. I don't have enough. And that is, if that is where your focus is really going to what you don't have, then that's kind of what's coming back to you, that you're going to have more of what you don't have because that's what you're focusing on is what you don't have. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Because I know a lot of the gurus out there, they tell you to, you know, focus on the positive and, you know, just ask the universe for it and it'll be given to you. And it's not quite as straightforward as that because it's really tricky to try and focus on abundance when you're really focusing on lack of abundance when you're focusing on what you lack you know that that is a that's a trick that i'm trying to uh, get past myself and the things that i do to try and bring myself into the proper focus is every morning i'll get up and i will uh, write down in my journal what it is i'm focusing on along with the things I'm grateful for. But I will put in there what I'm focusing on and along with the writing it down, the journal, I will do a five minute meditation on it and I will do five minute affirmations about it and I will do five minute visualizations on it. And all of these things are designed to help me get laser focused those are the, these are the lasers get laser focused on what that is that I desire and so far um, I've been able to make some things happen like I won a little bit of money on the lottery last week which was kind of cool but um, again, it's like you just need to focus on what it is that you want and be in that and not be about what you don't have. Like, don't, don't be about the lack of things that you have. Just be about living in abundance and about being in abundance, which is just notice everything around you that you have. Um, recognize the things that are in your life that you do have instead of 
it's so much easier for us to recognize what we lack and what we don't have. I don't know why it's easier for us to focus on the negative because if we could focus, if we could shift that, I mean, like that's what I think it's all about. It's about trying to shift your focus and shift it to focusing on all the love you do have in your life and all of the wonderful things that you have in your life. Like, you know, just try and focus on like all of the, the good people that you know and all of the wonderful things that you do have, you know, appreciate all of that. And when you focus on all of, when you focus your life on that, then you're living in abundance and abundance will come to you because you're living in it and it can't help but come to you because that's where you're at. I hope that makes sense. If it makes sense, put a mark or comment in the comment section. Hashtag makes sense to me. Um, and the other thing was your roots dictate your fruits. Yeah, your roots dictate your fruits. That is, I think, I know that I've talked about that. That's about the, the way that you were programmed as a kid is the way that you're walking around right now and the things that you were taught to expect and the things that you were taught that you deserved and the, the things that you taught you were taught that you were worthy of when you were a kid are the things you walk around now as an adult thinking that you're worthy of or that that you should have and those things aren't necessarily doing you any favors. Like, um, I was at a mastermind a few months ago, and one of the guys was talking about how when he was a kid, and he was in the store with his, his mom, and he wanted a candy bar. And she said, no, that's too expensive. And he, the, the, the thing that he got out of that was that he wasn't worth a candy bar. And I'm sure that's not what his mother meant, but nonetheless, he felt he wasn't worth a candy bar. And so that was something that he grew up thinking that he's not worth a candy bar, you know. He's not, it's not, he's not worth spending a little extra money on. So, that's like that my friends is a limiting belief and those are the things that get planted in us as children and they aren't necessarily always big tragic things that happen to you that plant these limited beliefs on you they could be something as simple as you wanted something and you were you were denied it and so you developed a limiting belief on that So <clears throat> those are the things that you need to um, look for, those instances in your past where, you know, you put out the desire that you wanted something to someone and they denied you and you developed a limiting belief about yourself because you were denied it. And those are the things that we need to get over. So I'm sure that each and every one of us can think of an instance similar to that candy bar instance that we developed it, a, a belief about ourselves based on the reaction that we had by our parent, our teacher, our brothers and sisters, or maybe it was a friend. Um, but those are the things that, that we walk around now those are our roots that are bearing us the fruits. So I would ask you this, you know, look at your life and think about the fruits of your labors. Think about the things that are coming to you. Like what is it, what have you accomplished in your life? What are, are they things that you feel good about or 
do you feel like you haven't accomplished as much as you wanted to? And if you haven't accomplished as much as you wanted to, you need to look at why that is and try to um, figure out a way that you can overcome that. It's hard for me to tell you how to overcome it right now because I don't know what those limiting beliefs are. But if you care to share something in the comment section, I'm sure I would, I would love to respond to you. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit the bell button so you can get notified every time I put up a new video. If you're watching this on Facebook, put in the comment section hashtag replay and let me know if you can recall some thing that happened to you that's that could be limiting your beliefs about yourself now. And on that, I will see you on tomorrow night's live.